Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you here with Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We're here at SHOT Show 2022. This is the Eberly Stock booth. Well, I need to kick this off by saying we were fortunate to be here in 2020. We covered the Eberly Stock booth when we looked at some great products. We looked specifically at the Kite and we looked at the Carrier Frame. Now since then, I've had the opportunity to get my hands on those products, bring them out into the mountains for some deep wilderness testing. Well, today we have a new take on the kite. Let's get inside and take a look at where Eberly stock is going for 2022. All right, so Greg, we're here, Eberly stock booth. We took a look at the kite in 2020, but I think now you have a new take on that. What, what do you got here for 2022? We do. So the, the kite pack was originally intended to be a backcountry pack. You could throw a ton of stuff in and go out for an extended trip. And, you know, it's been great for that. But the truth is a lot of people wanted more capacity and that's simple to do. The kite is a very simple design to start with. Um, and so adding volume to it is very simple. We just expanded the dimensions. What you'll see here is now a 4,800 cubic inch option built around the original kite. That's about 3,000 cubic inches. So you're plusing that up quite a bit. What you'll notice that the biggest difference being that we added some large saddlebag pockets to either side and so you get quite a bit of volume in here. One of the other really nice things about this is it does give you a smaller pocket to compartmentalize some stuff. The kite again was intended to be very simple, very basic design. And so the original is essentially a, a cylinder with a roll top on it that you can throw a bunch of stuff in where you now have some smaller pockets to keep some of those smaller items from just like bouncing around in there and whatnot. We did add a little bit more length to the roll top on it. One of the nice things about the roll top is it gives you the top load option. You still obviously have the front load option and you can expand that out as much as you want. Um, and then we also did a little bit of a change to the side pockets. We added a uh, stretch um, elastic band here so that for water bottles and stuff like that, you get to retain stuff that's inside of it, but it gives you a little bit more give, gives you a little bit more stretch for larger bottles and stuff like that. And essentially those are the big major changes from that. It'll still work with our uh, F1 mainframe or you can run it obviously as a standalone pack how you see it here. Yeah, no, that's exciting news. And I'll tell you, for me, one thing that I really struggled with just a little bit, I mean, this is a fantastic pack, but for me using it in the hiking, camping, and the backpacking scenario, I found that not having anything on the side left it just a little bit lacking. It doesn't have a lot in the way of Molly or anything like that. So it's a very streamlined pack. And then honestly, I just need a place to keep my food nice and easy on the outside of the pack or a Absolutely. place where I can get some of those basic essentials. I think you've taken care of that for 2022 with the new version. Absolutely, so do I. And I think people will really be really you know happy with it as they would the original kite, but we got more options for people and, and something that'll work for everybody, I think. So this is gonna be another pack that we worked on last year to release this year. Or release around the mid-year. This is gonna be called our free fall pack. And what we wanted to do here was offer something for the true everyday outdoorsman that's gonna be doing more than just hiking, more than just hunting. It's gonna be a really good general pack. It's also gonna be a really good travel pack. It'll you know fit in as a carry-on um, and a really simple design that's laid out really well to compartmentalize stuff. Again, it's called the free fall, so you've got a zippered pocket on the front. This works best for like cords and stuff. If you're traveling, things that can lay flat, you can stuff them in there. It doesn't really take up any extra space, so it's just another pocket option. You've got a small accessory pocket on the top here. There's gonna be one more small change to this to make this pocket a little bit larger, but you will have that there. And then the main compartment you'll get into from here. So excuse my airbag I've got here. But what you'll notice is that you've got a large open pocket. This is obviously where you're gonna keep your bulky items, a small sleeping bag in the spring or summertime, or your clothes, your food, those large bulky items. Again, on the side, you've got compression straps. So if you are doing something like scouting during the summer for hunting or carrying trekking poles, anything that's long and, and thin like that, you can tuck them into this stretch uh, water bottle pockets here and then compress them on the side with these compression straps. Or if you just don't have a full pack and you wanna get it streamlined down a little bit, obviously just tighten those up and you can see that's a really small profile. The pack was also designed to be super light, so we've got a really lightweight, minimalist frame in there to give you rigidity and support without adding a bunch of weight. Hip belt pockets for your essential items that you want to keep right there at the hip, like snacks or something that you want to be able to get at any moment's notice, uh, GPS, something like that, without taking the pack off. And then uh, last thing I would note is we designed this to ventilate really well because it's going to be like your spring, summertime, hiking, backpacking, we wanted to make sure that we've got a lot of airflow back here so you don't have to sweat a ton. It seems like a small feature, not a, not real important, but the truth is it's really nice to have that airflow back there, keep you comfortable while you're wearing it. And overall, this is gonna be a great outdoor 
uh, generalist backpack. We're really excited about this. Yeah, so Greg, one thing I wanted to ask you. So again, being into the hiking, camping, and backpacking genre, a lot of times, um, and, and with some of your other products, you actually have the ladder system that yep. allows you to change the height and the length of the torso. Is okay. this gonna be offered in different torso lengths? So because we're still working through final prototypes, there is still a chance that we could add that. And I'd like to give you a definite answer, but the truth is once we get to a final prototype, then we'll start testing that on people to decide if that's something we need to add. Because it's something that we do with most of our products, if we decide that we need to add that modularity in there for the torso length, it's really easy, us, easy for us to change that design. So that'll be something that'll come as sort of a, one, of our, one of our final revisions. As of right now, we think that it fits the torso pretty well and it probably will be a fixed torso length, but there's still the chance that we'll add that in as well as a removable hip belt where right now it is planned to be a fixed hip belt. So a couple changes that could still come, but as of right now, I do believe that this is how it'll, it'll end up. No, I think it's interesting and it's neat to see you going in this direction because it's a little bit of a departure from what you've done in the past. So it is. kind of diversifying here in, in 2022. It is a little bit. You know, a lot of what we've done has been very deliberate as a tactical pack or a hunting pack where this is really for, like I said, your generalist, generalist outdoorsman, your generalist, um, you know, active person that wants to get out there and do a lot of different things. It was designed to be versatile and it should work in just about any situation you can put it in. All right, so Greg, from the Kite 4800 to the free fall here, some awesome stuff for the sort of outdoor, tactical, yet hiking, camping, backpacking genre from Everly Stock. Man, nice job. Yep, absolutely. We're excited about it. We'll see how it goes. I appreciate it. Yep, of course.